Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays EverQuest 2. And I'm still on my necromancer. And as you can see, I was heading to the area that we were going to cover next. And uh, just by exploration experience, I got level 50. This used to be the big level for um, the original game. The original game, the level cap was 50. Now it's like 100 or 105. I'm not even for sure what it is. Um, yeah, so we uh, just got a whole bunch of uh, uh, spells and stuff. Everything was gr upgraded. Um, let's see, I think I have these sorted. You can do sort by level. Uh, yes. Okay. And so we can see that we got ooh, uh, a new... No. Yeah, that's not... A, that's a different quest. That's an ability. Um... There, Pandemic 5, that's a level 50 spell. Uh, Life Tap 3, which is a 50 spell. And a Lich, what is this? Changes the Necromancer into a Lich, allowing the slow conversion of health into power over time. All the li legit... Bleh. Of the Lich's disease-based hostile spells, siphon additional health from the target and adds health to the Lich. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see what it looks like. Uh, I bet I have to get off my mount to see it. Or maybe I have my illusions hidden. Just a second. Oh, yes. If you go into your character screen options and hide my illusion form so you can see when i click that off i now become a lich <laughs> okay do i stay in lich form whenever i call my raptor i do not so uh kind of useless as far as that's concerned as far as you know like actually uh using the illusion for some kind of reason um but it does increase the power of the caster instantly in every six seconds um and it siphons off uh, health from whatever you're attacking. So it is uh, pretty handy to, to have on, uh, it appears. And I don't appear to be losing health, so it, it's not a big deal in that respect. Uh, so I'm heading... I, I want to go ahead and do this other researching quest that we have. Because these are part of the timeline. They want you to do these. Um, which means we're getting up into a bigger area again. Uh, you can see, ooh boy, look at that. An epic times two over there in the distance. Let's see if we can get closer and take a, take a look. So that's Solsex Fist, which is a big uh, golem looking thing. And these are all of his minions, these executioners. So do not want to get close to that guy. <laughs> Instead, I want to go down in here and um, looking around, trying to find some goblin tablets. Let me see if I can find one. Ah, finally. Okay. These are hard to find. Um, you can see it's this mound right here. That's what we're looking for. Uh, if you go on to Zam... Uh, did it update? Hmm. Did not update. That's weird. If you go on to Zam, they do have a, a list of these. I can think I can see one over there in the distance now that I know what I'm looking for. So let's see if that, that works. Brush away the dirt. Oh. Maybe I didn't I need to go back, yes, because see now here's the relics down below. So kind of hard to see, um, and I need to go back over here to this first one. Right there. Those are hard to see, so uh, you'll want to probably get the coordinates off of um, EQ2 Zam. So I'm going to collect the rest of these. And here's the final one. Once you know what you're looking for, these are a lot easier to find. It just, I, I guess I was blinded by all of the, the sameness of the colors. So 
I'm heading back to turn this in. All right. Give me more. Give me more. Here we go. What do you think? And this gives me a uh, new robe as well, but it's only for appearance, I guess. Not bad. Just that's made for a girl. Look, it's got boobies on it. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to wear that. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. That's that's not for me. Look at that. That's definitely a woman's robe. I'm already wearing a dress. I don't need it to look that much more like a dress. <laughs> All right, I was uh, taking a look and see if I had any other quests. There is one more on the timeline that I haven't done called uh, research with the researching law of the storm. It's called the Gnomish problem, but I cannot find it anywhere. Um, and I've looked all over, and it's supposed to be on the table. I've said it, uh, read it other places. It's supposed to be out by the bell, and it's just nowhere to be found. So uh, I'm giving up on that. I do have a quest, uh, the heroic, the who you're going to call quest to turn in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back there and uh, turn that in. All right. Oh, this is, and this is more Sootfoot, so maybe we'll get some faction uh, with it. Yep, there's people in there working the void and all that. So that's just minus 2,500. So we'd need to do two more of those to uh, get the rhino, which is what I want to, what I really want. All right, he wants me to go back into the Temple of Roe uh, and do that. So I'm going to go ahead, go back, and uh, see if I can kill those really fast and if they still gives me faction because that other one did not give me a faction. Like I was, maybe it was because I was too high level or something. Anyway, right over there is the Temple of Roe, so I'm going to do that. All right, so let's uh, see. He did not give us faction. So uh, it's no use continuing to take these quests if they're not going to give us faction. I just don't care. Um, still need to do that. Get to 52. Let's do this Drake quest. Uh, maybe that'll give us some. So that should be yeah, up here over the mountain to get some more of those Drakes that we did originally. That one should give us some... Um, faction because it's the first repeatable I think that Smanty gave us. Smanty. Smanty. <laughs> Still can't say it. <laughs> anyway, let's jump over here. And you can see here's the uh, the drakes that we need. So clean these up. All right, Smanty. Give us some faction, would you? No, he did not. No. I don't want it if it doesn't give me faction. Ha! Ah, well, we have done it. We have run out of uh, stuff to do. That's a repeatable that does not give faction, so I don't want that. The only thing left is really the um, the the goblin. This is the uh, heritage quest. Uh, let me see if I can find some more of those. So it looks like for this, it's just a quill quest. So I'm going to mop up a whole bunch of these Sootfoot gatherers um, around the area and see what I can come up with. All right. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I probably killed a dozen of them, maybe 20, uh, you know, in big groups to get that. Uh, what does it say? I need to return to Fenderis at the Pillar Inferno. He is waiting for the shards of the Goblin Tablet. Okay, is he up? Where would he be? Let's see. And why isn't that... There we go. Um, who's it say? Fenders. There he is. Let's see. Oh, he's back down at the dock. Ah, here he is. Right here. Yes, I got the shards. All right, he wants more. So I need to uh, collect a bunch of Banner of Flames. And I uh, wonder if these are actually in locations or if I just have to kill more stupid goblins. That's the problem with Heritage Quests is a lot of times they're just a lot of grinding 
Grinding, grinding, grinding. Let's see what it actually says. Upon finding myself in fiery land of lava store, I cower a scholar that introduced me to the first steps, discovering the lost legend of the parts. The trail of lost legend may lead me to great treasure hidden from the world. Um, and then I did all of those parts. And, yeah, I just need to find these banners. Uh, all right. I see these are actually banners, but I looked for more on this quest, and it is long and involved. And you also have to have uh, the Druzaic language, which is a quest that you start in um, Freeport. So I think I think it's time to leave Lava Storm, uh, and we'll only come back here once we hit level 52. So uh, that means we are going to go off the golden path here for a little bit and see what we could do. We could go over to Everfrost, that's 40 to 50. Um, let's see, Fins of Nasher, that's all level 70. There's 60. Moors, Great Divide. Island of Mara, not bad. The Sinking Sands, we could go over and take a look at Sinking Sands. Um, yeah, let's go take a look at Sinking Sands. That, that sounds like a good place to... It's right in the the sweet spot of the the zone. We're up to level fifty. Uh, I don't care for frost fang all that much. All right, so uh, we're here at the docks for this is the Desert of Flame expansion. There's a lot of content here, and we're definitely not going to do all of this. Uh, I'm really going to get to level 52 and then follow, get back on the golden path. So uh, what I do here is going to be very purposeful. In fact, I think what I want to try to do is to get me a flying carpet. Uh, so let me look up the, the, the contents of that quest. All right. And the quest giver for this can be found in the crocodile camp uh, here in this little oasis. A lot of cool sounds going on here. And let me turn off this. I'm going to head and leave that. I don't think... This is not the guy, is it? Ah, here. It's... Zeki Purveyor of Fine Carpets. And you can see he's got one right down there. Blasted brigands of desert fools. Sounds like you've got shipment problems. They've been taking my valuable merchandise and making off with it. Nearly one shipment and every ten gets stolen. Sounds like a bad ratio. What are your shipping? Carpets, of course. What do you think I am? Some sort of potion merchant? That I sell elixirs of love potion and hopeless romantics? No, I sell how quality, top of the line, flying carpets. And what could even pretend? who could even pretend to afford that? It's a limited market, I know, but both Freeport and Kinos have been valued customers recently. I've had a hard time getting the product there, but it seems to, that both cities are interested in my merchandise. How can you possibly have a problem with the brigands if you sell flying carpets? I'm not following you there. Why wouldn't I have a problem? Uh, how do I put it? Oh yeah, you're selling flying carpets. Ha! You can't fly carpets around. They've uh, each got their own personality. You have to carefully ship them one at a time, and you can never ship one on top of another. It takes weeks to get them apart if you do. Okay. It's not about about to reveal the secrets of carpet creation to you. Look, if you want a job clearing the Rujikin Oryx, I can help you out, and maybe you can help me out. If not, get out of here. I have enough money to worry about without worrying crowd uh, without you crowding me. Right. Okay. Let's do it. Good. Clear path right through the dock would be ideal, but I doubt that's ways accomplished. There's simply too many of them. But if you could catch one of these leaders and kill him, I bet he'd give up. Okay. So I'm going to find the highwayman. Uh, is this marked on my quest? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So it actually it is. It's just that he's a little ways away. Up here, uh, there's, a, there's a trail right there, and he's going to be wandering that trail. In fact, you can see... Uh, maybe not, but there's several named right there. So I'm going to, since, since this is our first time in the Seeking Sands, we will uh, we'll do this together and jump right over there. You can see some of the quests here start at level 45, uh, which is when you can do this, and it is available on the TLE server now. Uh, I never did make it there. It is available. You can see, it's what you would expect. Very sandy area. 
lots and lots of quest because uh, this was made for like five levels so there's a there's a lot to do here this quest that i'm on now the flying carpet quest uh used to be a heroic quest but they've uh since changed that to make it a, a single quest you can buy uh flying carpets there he is on the uh on the market i believe but i always enjoy questing more than i do just buying junk off the market he's going to be an easy kill it was more about finding him that was the uh the problem that that he was presented with And you can see there's a big city at the top called Majdul. Um, where you, you've got some cool apartments and uh, some cool faction stuff going on up there. But for now, let's go turn this in. So you're back. And what do you have to show for it? Were you successful? You didn't expect me to take it in blind faith that you'd done what I asked, did you? I knew that, so I took this medallion. Very well, I suppose. I actually have to pay you then. Hey, remember you? You're the guy. Hmm, the one that was clearing out the orcs, right? Uh, yes. What a wonderful compliment. So, what are you doing back here? Thinking about the mysteries, mysteries of the desert? I must say, trade's been much better since the last time you were you were by. Already, huh? Business is booming, as they say. Just sold a new carpet for, for a fortune. How about you share some of that? I mean, I did help you clear that route out. Good idea. Why don't you give... <laughs> why don't I give you a back rub, a nice house, 50 gallons of water while I'm at it, eh? Okay. <laughs> did you drop off the boat here or something? I'm not going to make any money by giving it away. I'd like to, to retire someday, you know? Well, is there anything else you need done? Actually, I suppose you could be of use. I've been having a hard time getting some of the components for the carpets, of course. <sighs> oh, hey, now that that's wits I'm looking for, because I said something about the components and that they were smart. I can give you a list of things I'll need. Don't worry that I can make them. Ooh, look at that. Going to get a lot of status for this, too. Of course, don't be silly. How could you make them? Here's the list. Come back when you've got everything. This doesn't look too hard. All right, so I need 10 silken strands of dune tarantulas, a dye from the shore of a dead tear, of the dead tear, a thread from the cap of a banished titan, a perfectly shaped chitinous needle, an ether fragment of servant of the god king, a wisp of air from the highest dune. So, uh, I have done all of this before. So you can see we've got several blue areas around here that we're going to be collecting items in. It's pretty easy to find them all, actually. Uh, so let's hop over there and see what we can do. So we need dune tarantula silk. These are not it. These are desert tarantulas. So where are... Aha. So you go a little further in to get the dune tarantulas. I believe there's a named tarantula that wanders around here, too. So I'll be on the lookout for them uh, as I'm killing these guys. All right, didn't find the name, but these guys died very, very quickly. I rounded up a whole bunch and just killed them in massa. All right, we do have right up here. I think this is the Wisp of Sand or something. A Wisp of Air from the Highest Dune. Hmm. Is this the highest dune? It should be. Right here, look. On the ground. That was a little silly. <laughs> and let's jump over. No, I think I want to do those last because they get... Because uh, I'm going to jump down in there and it's going to get me lost and stuff. So let's uh, do the Banished Titan next. And he's over this direction. Oh, oops. I said... Uh, Titan next, but I actually went toward the scorpions to get the the needle. All right, it says I need a perfectly shaped needle. So that was it. Just had to kill one of them. And the bat and the 
Titans should be over here. Ah, here they are. And I just need one of these. Even though they're big, they're going to die easy. Giant Idol. I think that is for the giant lore and legend. Where did it go? Except. Yep. Word of giants, so we can understand giants. But I'm not going to do that right now. That will just come as we go. I don't know of a lot of quests we're doing with giants, besides this one, but uh, I guess we'll just see. It's just not something I want to pursue right now. Alright, so I made it into this area. If you've never been to this area, this is actually a pretty cool. Um, there's some there's some dungeons and stuff around in here. There's a lot of cool stuff. If you played EQ2 at all, I'm sure you've been in here. Um, it's still just worth mentioning. I don't know where my yeah. Come on, guys. This should be that hard to kill them that fast because right here is the exotic plant and that's where we're going to get the dye and so I've got that and now the final piece is to come over here uh, and get it from the servants come on ah I thought I might got my level <laughs> so when you get over here uh, you can see there's these guys floating around and here's one this is the one that uh, those are the ones that are gonna drop what we need I thought they might be hovering over this little alcove, but uh, they're not. So that's the reason I avoided doing this one. Wow, look at that. 51. Got a lot of upgrades. Dooming Darkness 3. And that's it. Okay. So. Oh, I didn't get the item I needed, did I? It did not drop it. So let's kill this guy right here. Hmm, so I guess we're gonna have to kill a lot of them till, till we find what we need. Ah, there. That one dropped it. So I only had to kill three of those. Not a big deal. All right, let's see. Looks like a heavy load. Why don't you just set it down right over there? Thanks, that'd be great. All right. Yeah, I guess I could go ahead and try. No one's going to stop you. You don't sound very concerned. I'm not. Half of those items I'm going to use and half are going to be thrown away. I don't get it. And I got all that status. You really are new here, aren't you? If I don't give you the whole list, then you won't know what I really need. Here, why don't you take some coin and run off? I'd say it's a pleasure doing this you business with you, but that'd be a lie. All right, should be the last step, I believe. Nope, there's two more. Back again. Hey, at least you know who I am. I remember everyone who I've ever done business with. It's only prudent. You remember how you stiffed me? Bah, I paid you, didn't I? What were you expecting? That I'd tell you how to make my carpets or that I'd give you one? Either would be nice. Hey, it's not like you performed a resurrection for my dead child. Would you like me to? I don't have a child. It was a figure of speech, but if you are looking for something that valuable, you're going to have to do more of a favor to me than gather some supplies. I fell for that twice now. Suit yourself. I can find someone else to do it. <laughs> okay, I'll bite. What do you want now? There's the rival of mine. He's been undercutting my prices to Kinos and Freeport. I really can't have that. I knew you'd resort to murder, murder eventually. No thanks. Murder? You mistake me. I just want you to deliver a message to the fine, upstanding fellow. Fellow. I'm not a courier service. Uh, okay. Fine, fine. Who is this guy? Quilly the Z. Wow. Uh, he shouldn't be hard to find. He likes to spend the time in the city. Just give the note to him. All right. I'll deliver your note. All right. He's in Majdul, which is good because we haven't been to Majdul yet, and I'd like to capture that on camera. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a two-parter. So I'll finish up here, and uh, if you'd like this video, please give me a like um, and leave any comments you have. Uh, I'm glad we've kind of gotten out a lot of storm. In the next episode, uh, we should get to level 52, should get the carpet, uh, and move on to the next zone. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, your subscriptions really mean a lot to me, and they really help the channel out. So till next time, bye.